So first I'm going to start with my eyes and I'm going to prime my eyes with some concealer. This is Tarte Shape Tape and this is in the shade Light Medium Honey. I'm just going to put some concealer to hide my veins and to create a nice base for my eyeshadow. I'm not going to do any crazy eyeshadow today. I'm going to a brunch with some co-workers. So I want it to be just like simple brunchy makeup. Just like a natural neutral eyeshadow look. Which really is the new trend now. And like I said, if you know my channel and you know me, I love eyeshadow. It's my favorite makeup. Um, and I really do like to embrace a more natural eye look, you know, because you can like see your true eye shape and whatever, but I do love eyeshadow. I always will love eyeshadow and yeah. I'm just gonna set my eyes with some of the NARS. This is the Soft Matte Advanced Setting Powder in the shade Cove. It's really just like a light setting powder, which is why I like it. And I'm just gonna keep that concealer intact with this, creating that nice base with a real light dusting on my brush. This is just to prevent creasing of the concealer. See how it didn't really give that much pigment? Just set the concealer. Alright, so the That's Taupe palette by ColourPop. This is one of my favorite go-to everyday eyeshadow palettes. I'm just going to take a ColourPop. So it's like ColourPop E15. You can get these at Ulta. They are some of my favorite drugstore brushes. And I'm going to tap off the excess. I'm going in with the shade Pebble, Pebble Beach, tapping off the excess, and then just blending this right into my crease to give myself a nice defined crease. This is like a cool tone palette. And the rest of my makeup is going to be probably more on the warm side, but this is just to just build up that natural eye look with a nice defined crease. And comment below whether you guys like full-on get ready with me and makeup tutorials with all the makeup or if you like more eyeshadow tutorials. Um, I like to film these kind of makeup tutorials much more. Like these are my favorite to film. But it's easier for me to film the eyeshadow tutorials. All right, so blending out my crease, trying to make sure that they're even. And then whatever happens out here, I'm just gonna clean up with foundation. When I film my eyeshadow tutorials, usually I do my eyeshadow last because I kind of want all the imperfections hidden because I'm like super zoomed in and everything. But um, whenever I'm just doing my makeup just me, I don't do my foundation first, usually. Sometimes I do, it just really depends. I have a German Shepherd Husky, and she always sits on my bed, which is like right beside me, and just like stares at me the whole time doing my makeup, it's so cute. All right, so I have this nice defined crease. Next, I'm going to, so next I just want to take a brush like this. This is the Ariel A20. I love Ariel's brushes. And I'm going to go with my favorite shade, Maple. It's this really warm matte brown and I just love it so much. And really going with the light hand as I can. I'm just going to blend this in my outer V with a very light hand. Like I said, I'm not trying to go to brunch with this like full on makeup look. I'm just trying to go to brunch with this effortless, very 2023 natural glam. If you know what I mean. Blending it in like that. This is actually way darker than what I planned, but you know what? I'm just gonna roll with it. Okay. So there's that. 
And now I want a matte vanilla shade. So I'm just gonna take the shade Swan and the Born This Way palette and I'm just gonna tap that on my inner half here. Just to kind of lighten and brighten that eye look up. The shade is so buttery smooth on my finger. I absolutely love it. You know what? That looks pretty good. No, I like the way that looks so far. It just looks like a natural, you know, like bridal glam. So we're going to go in with Glotion by L'Oreal. I love this stuff. I definitely prefer my L'Oreal Glotion over my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I know it's an unpopular opinion. I just don't like it. And it's funny because so many people like it and I really just don't understand the hype. I want to try the e.l.f. one because I heard it's like just as good or like not just as good but you know what I'm saying like better or like the same thing. Um, but this one I just like the Glotion more. I don't know. I like the feeling of it more and I just think it's more affordable because it's something that goes like under your foundation. And for me, if I'm going to spend, I think it's like 42 or $46 on something, it's not going to be something that goes under my foundation. You know? Like a concealer, a blush, a highlighter, something like that is so much more noticeable and important in the makeup look versus something like this that goes literally under your foundation to just give you a nice base and glow. I mean, look at that. That's drugstore glotion. So, love it. All right, so now I'm gonna go with a full coverage foundation. This is the KBD Good Apple. Um, I have a review on this on my channel. You know, you know. I've been using this like every day and it's literally like to there. Because that's how much like little you have to really use. I usually use two pumps. Today I'm using three just because I'm gonna be out all day and it's you know, Florida weather is starting to kick in with this humid, spring, hot days. I wanted to go with my NARS concealer and conceal my imperfections, but I forgot. So maybe I'll do that on top of my foundation, but this foundation's pretty good at covering everything. All right, so next I'm going to go in with my JH Morphe brush. I'm just going to blend this in. And then when you go to the sides here by your eyes, you can kind of, you know, cut that area. I'm going to bring it down my neck. Look at that full coverage. And then I'm going to bring this on my... I mean, look how nice that just like blended in. I already had sunscreen on my face before I did this. I am gonna be out in the sun today at brunch. We're probably gonna be sitting outside, so I wanna make sure I have sunscreen on because I am using that new um, retinol called Retinoid. You need a prescription for it. And it's really been helping my skin. Okay. So, next I'm going to go with some NARS concealer. This is in the shade Light 2.2. This is the soft matte concealer that you can just like... I mean, everything's pretty much concealed with that foundation. But I'm just going to pat in. I have like a broken blood vessel over here. Oh, my blemishes are all hidden. Because that foundation is amazing. So... That's all I'm going to do with that. And now I'm going to do some concealer. I'm going to go back in with the Tarte Shape Tate Light Medium Honey Shade. I'm just going to put a few dots here. 
I'm trying to do less concealer. I usually wake up at 4.30 in the morning and go to work, so I have major dark circles. So I need that like long-lasting full coverage concealer, like a Tarte Shape Tape concealer. But if I'm not, if I don't have dark circles and I'm not waking up that early, I try and do as, li like, as little as possible. So I'm just gonna blend that out with a sponge. I try to do brush, like blending out concealer with a brush, but I find that when I use the sponge, it really picks up a lot of the product, which leaves me with this really smooth under eye versus a brush, because it like, you know, doesn't pick up the product as much, so you get more coverage, which is why I like to do my foundation with a brush, because I feel like I get more coverage and I'm not wasting my foundation, but I like to do my under eye with a sponge. I tried to do with a brush, but as you can see right here, I got some of that concealer in my inner corner. So I'm just going to go with a brush and just try and like make them even there. I'm kind of mad now because I just I don't know what I did. Whatever. I got concealer like by my eyeshadow, but it's okay. I always try and be careful there, but it's just the way my eye is shaped. It's like hard to... Okay. And what am I going to do for my under eye? Some of my one size translucent powder. And I'm going to go in with my Ariel A14. The really light dusting and just like hat so I don't want to like pick it up and move it around I mean I've watched so many videos about like under eyes and like what to do with this part you know but I just have these natural like wrinkles there I've had them my whole life my eyes are like protruding so it's normal for your your this lid to have like like it sticks out more and so I always am going to have creasing, like there's nothing that's going to stop that. It's just the anatomy of my eye and I've accepted it, like I don't, those wrinkles have always been there. There's nothing I'm going to really be able to do about it unless I'm older. And I can like have a lower eyelid surgery, but I'm not, not even going there. But I'm just saying that I've accepted it. So it's just like I have to find out what works best for me when it comes to setting because I feel like when I hear these advices about setting the under eye that just don't work for me because my under eye like the really nice hydrating serums like the NYX one yeah my under eyes could never that's way too like lotiony like I need something that's just gonna like you know I don't even know what I'm trying to say but I just some th products so I'm setting my whole face with this but some products I just need um them to be like thicker not serum-y, like the one by NYX. I have never tried it on my eye. Maybe I should try it before I start speaking about it, but I tried it on my hand in the store and it's so, and it's one that everybody loves and it's so like serum-y, but I just feel like I know how deep my under eye wrinkle creases are. And I feel like if I use something like that, it's just really gonna like emphasize it. But I guess I can't say anything until I actually try it. But, alright, so I'm just going to set my entire face with this powder. All of my Botox from my wedding has worn off, and I have very natural wrinkles on my forehead. And it's like, you know, like, you're meant to have creases in your face, and wrinkles are normal as much as people think they're not. They are totally normal, but I definitely support like getting Botox and doing everything you can to help not age. Um, but mine's like worn off and I like don't really care to go get some now. Like, I'll probably wait till the summer, but it's like some people, you know, they can't go without it. So this is my Milani Silky Matte. This is in the shade Sunlight. And I'm just going to take my bronzer brush. This is in the shade, or this is my A3.2 brush. And I'm just going to bronze up my forehead. 
I love this bronzer. This bronzer to me is like as good as high end. I reach for this more than my high end bronzers. It's just such a good, such a good bronzer. Seriously. And it's funny because so many people have been talking about this for years and I just like, I was at Target and I saw it and I was like, you know what, maybe, maybe I should just like try this. And I was just like in love. And just like that, you know, blends out like a dream. Such a good color. I love it. For blush, I'm going to go with one of my favorite spring blushes. It's the Laura Mercier Bellini. I love this blush. And it just looks so pretty. I also have the one, the shade Watermelon. But I broke it. I broke it and it's like this baby pink beautiful shade. And I just need to fix it. I need to put some alcohol in it and like fix it. But I used to use that one all the time on my channel. And then when it broke, I started using Bellini more, and then I'm just in love with this one as I was the other one. But. So I put it on like the sides of my face. It's where I like to. And just drag it down on the apples on my cheeks a little bit. Such a pretty like orange tone, corally blush. Like I love it. Put way too much on, but whatever. I would like to mix that blush with this Seat, Seat London. I hope I'm saying that right. This is in the shade Halo. They don't make this anymore, but it's like a rosy, um, like a rosy. It's like a berry shimmery shade. And I just love to like mix these two together. It gives that like sunburnt shimmer glow look that I love. All right, and then after that, just because my blush gets a little crazy, I'm gonna go back in with this new NARS setting powder. This is the Soft Matte Advanced Setting Powder and this little concealer brush, and I'm just gonna blend that right here to kind of soften up the inner half of my face and blend it into the blush. So blush isn't like out of control. And then my forehead. And like down the sides here. A little chisel. You know? Okay. And then I'm gonna highlight with my Laura Mercier Highlighter 01. I saw that this product has been very hyped. Um, the other darker shades is a bronzer. Like the darkest shade in this is a bronzer. It would be very interesting because I know I like this just as like a highlighter because it's so soft and like natural. If you're going for that like every day. You don't want that like millennial highlight, but you want like a little bit of something. I love this highlighter for that. This goes right on top of your blush. So natural, I'm gonna do my forehead, my chin. So for my nose contour, I'm gonna go in with this ginormous chocolate cocoa contour Too Faced palette. I'm gonna go in with the light contour shades, that gray tone, and I'm going in with this brush by Luna Magic. It's just like a flat, you can see that. Looks like that. And I'm gonna go with the light contour shade. Tap off the excess, I'm just gonna squeeze it and then run it down my nose and create a contour. And then I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit with my other brush. So I got a little nose contour going on. All right, so now I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna go with my e.l.f. brow pencil. I'm just gonna brush them up. I'm gonna try and do a Gen Z um, fluffy brow. 
You know what? I gotta pluck these. Oh my lord. All right. So I'm gonna take the Morphe Brow Gel and do like a Gen Z. I'm gonna brush them up first before I do. Like that, see how they're so fluffy now? It's almost like I don't even need to go in with a pencil, but I'm just gonna let them dry. I feel like these ones look good, but these ones are the ones I'm like, okay, what's going on? What's going on? So I'm just gonna let those dry before I go in with a pencil. I'm just gonna finish up the eye look. I'm going to take a small detailing brush and I'm going to go back in with that Laura Mercier highlighter in the shade 01 and I'm just going to highlight my inner corner. And just bring it up onto the eyelid just a little bit. No! I just dropped the highlighter. Please tell me it's not broken. Thank goodness. Okay. And I'm just gonna touch a little bit on the brow bone. Okay. Then I'm gonna take that, that shade I like called Maple Honey. I'm oh, sorry, I'm Maple Honey, what am I saying? Maple and the Too Faced Born This Way palette. And like a really small brush like that. Just something that I can go on the bottom lash line with. This is a Luna Magic brush. And I'm just gonna line my bottom lash line. Just like that. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with my super affordable favorite nude eyeliner by Essence, and this is in the shade Nude, and I'm just gonna line my waterline. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. Favorite lip liner is the shade, um, natural by NYX but it's downstairs in one of my purses and I love so I have two NYX here and I love the LA girl lip liners and I also have the shade white peach in this gloss this is the Tarte um plumping Marijupu cherry blossom so I have white peach as well but it's downstairs in one of my purses so for now I am going to go in I'm gonna go with gingerbread I'm just going to line my lips. I overline my Cupid's bow. And my bottom. And the sides. I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. Sometimes I like to put lipstick on, but I'm just going to go in with the gloss. This is the Cherry Blossom Gloss. Look at how pretty that color is. Such a pretty, pretty pink purple shade. And so for my setting spray, I always like to go with my Milani Make It Last, but that is like literally almost empty. Oh, oh my god, my Morphe setting spray. And I'm just going to like shield my eyes. And then when that's like 50% dry, I'm just going to take a sponge with nothing on it and just press it into the skin. Ah. 
And now it's time for a mascara. Lately, I have been loving the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. My favorite. It's like my very affordable eyelash curler. And I'm going to curl my lashes. I have a whole video on like my lash routine. Because lately people have been complimenting my lashes. And I have changed up a few things. And really am embracing my natural lashes. All right, and so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lash and roll. I mean, look how great that wand is. And I mean, look at those, I mean, look at those lashes, you know? That is a lash and roll my old. Mm-hmm. Alright, so now for my brows. I usually don't do a fluffy Gen Z brow, but I will. So now that they are stuck, I'm gonna just brush them a little bit more up. Now they're like super waxy and sticking up, you know, like fluffy. And I'm gonna just go with a pencil and just feather in like that. And then I'm just gonna take my brush and brush everything up. So it's that fluffy Gen Z brown. All right, guys, that completes this look. This is my brunch every day, very 2023, no makeup, makeup, clean girl makeup look. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.